It's just different levels of imposter syndrome. And for me, one thing that's helped me lower it is just challenging my beliefs. Um, for example, like, can I get on this podcast? You know, this is actually my first podcast that I'm being a guest on. So it's, uh, it's a big uh, step for me. It's one of those things that, um, you know, can I do it? Maybe. Yeah, I think, you know, I can, but, um, you know, I challenge myself to like, what would happen if I didn't, you know, I would probably miss out on a good conversation with you and having a deep, uh, meaningful like connection. And then like, I can share my story with you and the world and everybody else. So, you know, I try to focus then on the benefits that I can get, uh, by focusing on, you know, what would I miss out on and challenge those beliefs of imposter syndrome that are causing that root cause and seeing, you know, what, what would happen if you didn't, um, I mean, there could be some positives there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if anything, if I want to add on top of it, it's like not even positive. It's, it's something that came our way. It's an opportunity. I can just see how it is. If I'm interested, if I'm not, I can say no, you know, like, Oftentimes, I think we have that answer. Hey, Ali asked me to jump on this call for an interview. Do I feel it? Do I not feel it? I feel it. So I just want to go and see what it is. And I think even putting a lot of pressure on and expectations in advance that I'm going to get something positive out of this may even already just trigger something with that imposter syndrome. Whereas you said earlier, oh, I'm just going to have a great conversation with a friend. I, that's it. And then you never know a lot of great things may come out of it, or you may actually not enjoy that. And the good thing is next time you want to do a second podcast, you know, you shouldn't do it with these sort of, uh, uh, let's say interviewers or podcasts. And then you start defining your standards. And I think no matter what, like there is like that moment that somebody tells you, let's do this. I think instantly we have the answers. There's just that feeling that we have it and we just have to call it. And I appreciate that you called it, by the way.